Hello, I'm Francesco Bailo, and I'm going to present this uh, very preliminary version of our uh, presentation um, with uh, some uh, initial findings, although uh, we hope to have more as we will actually participate live in, in two weeks. Um, so we are investigating the ideology of the collective construction of knowledge of unfolding events on uh, Wikipedia. Uh, so this is basically uh, our um, setting and what we are aspiring to do. So ideology broadly intended as somebody system of beliefs is critical in understanding how we interpret facts. Um, as we are presented with new facts, we naturally fall back on our ideology to understand and make sense of them. So political ideology in particular um, help, us, help us interpret current social arrangement through the lenses of our normative, normative ideas of what this arrangement should be. So we, what we will plan to do is to use a small sample of editors uh, that have uh, Wikipedia editors that have self-disclosed ideological labels uh, to estimate the ideological alignments of all active uh, editors on Wikipedia active on articles that have uh, basically appeared during 2020 on the current events portal on the English version of the site. So this is the data that we are using. We're using the Wikipedia dump, the XML dump uh, of um, all user pages, so namespace uh, two, uh, and we uh, collected uh, the user boxes. So we went through all the dumps uh, of all the pages, sorry, uh, and we collected all the user boxes, so the user indicated in their, um, in their page. Uh, so user boxes present information about interest, uh, general interest uh, of the user, but then of course it can also be about political ideology. And a subsection of users have a political ideology um, uh, aligned um, um, user box. So identifying their ideology. So of the 400,000 editors that included at least um, about 400,000 editors included at least one user box on their uh, personal page, so uh, user page. And in total, there are a lot uh, of user boxes, different user boxes, because of, of course everybody can create one. So there are more than uh, half a million user boxes in total were identified. Um, of these, of course, a very limited numbers are political uh, user boxes. So we have identified uh, by scraping the portal page uh, 124 events, and of this 96, uh, have, we have found that there are uh, um, revisions for 96 of those. Uh, uh, in total, again, we have 96 event pages and 91,000 events, sorry, uh, revisions for each, for in total for all these pages. We can immediately see that these revisions are distributed, but also highly concentrated because, of course, the COVID-19 event was one of those, so we have a lot of um, revisions that are concentrated around that page. We started mapping um, events and uh, user interactions, so the correlation, the, the, the relationship between users and editors and the pages that we, uh, that we have uh, collected. Um, but again, let's dig into the methods that we have been, that we have been using. So we have extracted uh, uh, 606 uh, political ideology uh, boxes about user boxes about political ideologies and we use uh, this and we, we, we know that they are about political ideologies because they all belong to the category of boxes of the project page, user boxes, polit politics and ideologies. Um, then we associated 59 of these user boxes uh, to 15 uh, ideological labels that are as proposed by Herman and Doring in a political analysis uh, paper. And this is of course important because this association allow us to as assign to each one of these 59 user boxes um, a score, on a, a political ideology score using the, uh, the information provided in the paper. So this is the, again, the network linking user boxes. So the 59 user boxes to the, to the 15 uh, ideologies, uh, green politics in blue, green politics, liberalism, Marxism, uh, social liberalism, conservatism, and, and the others. And of course, we have many more uh, boxes, user boxes that are linked to this. Um, and uh, this is the network that links 2017 um, editors to uh, 
uh, one of these 15, at least one of these 15 ideologies. Okay, so again, users are linked, editors are linked to user boxes and user boxes are associated to an ideology. So we can construct the relationship between linking users to uh, ideology. And by doing this, of course, we are able to associate, associate users with a score. Uh, so this is how the 15 uh, root uh, ideologies actually score on a left to right ideological score. Um, so the most left wing being communism and the most right wing uh, being uh, social conservatism. Um, and most of the ideology being concentrating around zero. That again is the, the threshold that divides right, right uh, and left. And when we associate these 2014 um, users to an ideology, so the numbers actually slightly varies. Again, st we're still in the preliminary phase because sometimes when we use the username or the user ID, we get different um, matchings because we assume that a few users have been changing user ID and uh, usernames over time. So probably we should fall back on the using user IDs. Uh, so this is again our, uh, the 24, uh, 2040 uh, users actually are score, scored on the left to right ideological score. So uh, is quite balanced, although again, the left wing is more extreme according to the ideological scoring proposed by the, by the paper that we are using, although most of the users, of course, are around, around zeros. And uh, this is also how we proceed with the classification. So uh, that we plan to do for the remaining of the users. So also users that don't, don't, don't have a direct connection with, uh, with an ideology. So we do it in a binary way. We classify binary, so either left or right. And again, the threshold being uh, zero. So every user that is as a score below zero is intended as left wing leaning. And uh, any user that has scored above zero is intended as right leaning. So what we, the classification in practice works using the, um, the uh, network of interest. So the fact that although a small minority of users actually used, uh, actually are uh, indicating a user box that pertains to a, a specific ideology, a much larger number of users are using user boxes to indicate their interest. So we are using this um, much broader network that involves a much wider uh, sample of users to try to classify them. So we are using, we are training our classifier on the subset of users that are linked to political ideology directly through the user boxes, but they also express other interests through user boxes and using this information to see whether we can uh, classify the remaining of the users, so their users did not express directly a uh, user box or an ideology, uh, and see whether this is possible. And so far, uh, preliminary results have indicated that uh, indeed it's complicated uh, to, to do this, but it's still effective. So, so far our uh, classification has been able to, on the 400,000 users that are not connected to a specific ideology. And, but again, this is a preliminary result that we hope to polish and to improve. We have been able to identify of this about 4,000 users as right wing. So that again, we're using the, the binary distinction. And uh, we are working again on um, trying to better, uh, see whether it's possible to uh, have uh, improve the, uh, the uh, classification here to have a much more nuanced uh, classification probably that again in, instead of a specifically a um, binary classification.